Killer slam. That's the finest dunk by a seven-foot football wide receiver I've ever seen. <laughs> I would say so. Another big rim rocker from Willie Cauley Stein. And yes, can you imagine a seven-foot football player? How, how do you defend a guy that size? And as a quarterback, what would it be like to throw to a target that big? Well, we don't have to imagine. We can actually talk to the guy that did it in high school. Dalton Rook was his quarterback in Kansas, and he joins us now. Uh, so, Dalton, what was it like to throw to a receiver that big? Well, obviously, I mean, it had a, you had your advantages. Uh, anytime it was third down and ten or it was a tough fourth down situation or we needed a big-time play, everybody in the stands knew where I was going with it, especially the opposing coaches. Um, but it was awesome just being able to still throw it there to a seven-foot receiver and know that he's going to come down with it. Um, so it definitely, that was the advantages for sure. It was awesome. I feel sorry for these defensive backs as we watch some of this video here. How would teams try to defend them and take them out of the game? Could they even do it or have any success at all? Well, it's, it's funny because at the beginning of the year, teams thought that they were just going to be able to, you know, control him, just him being seven foot tall but not having much muscle. They thought they could control him. Um, but once he started, you know, depleting some people and making some outstanding catches, teams started actually putting out a linebacker uh, to jam him off the line, and then they'd have a – defensive back about eight yards off, and then they would have a safety rolled over to about 12 yards off the ball. So basically they're triple teaming him and leaving other receivers open. So there's no real way they could do it. <laughs> That's pretty remarkable. Now, had Willie picked football over basketball, what kind of football player do you think he would have been beyond high school? You know, I think he still would have been a great football player. Um, people have their speculations. Oh, well, I don't know if he could have done this or that better in college, but... Just his maturity, seeing it on the basketball court and how much bigger he's gotten there and more physical that he's gotten there, I think he would have been successful in either sport, for sure. I'm sure you've watched, as we all have, Willie and his teammates, what they're doing at Kentucky this season. Do you think they'll go undefeated? You know, I was actually just talking to him about that the other day, and uh, he still just said they're taking it one game at a time. You know, obviously, that's the mindset to have. Uh, I definitely think that they will uh, knock on wood right now. Uh, but definitely, I... They have the skills to do it, the players to do it, so behind them 100%. So Willie goes on to play something other than football after high school, and you did as well. You're at Fort Scott College in Kansas playing baseball. What are your goals this season? And since Fort Scott's a two-year school, what does the future hold for you? You know, our goals this season, um, on the individual level, obviously to sign to a four-year school and continue my baseball career. Um, but on a team level, um, like I said, take it one game at a time. We're supposed to be really good this year. Um, every team wants to think that they're good, but there's, you know, there's obviously something in store here. Um, just take it one game at a time, make it to the playoffs, make it to regionals, and our ultimate goal of making it to the World Series in Grand Junction, Colorado. Uh, you know, other than that, I'll just let the rest take care of itself, and wherever I end up is wherever I end up. Well, you and your teammates open the season tomorrow, so we certainly want to wish you guys uh, the best of luck. Dalton, Thank thanks, for the thanks for the time, Dalton. We appreciate it. Thank you. In basketball, VCU is a unanimous pick to win the Atlantic 10, but with March approaching, are their postseason hopes in doubt? Our Sharks take a bite out of the Rams. It's Shark Tank, college hoop style on Campus Insiders.